I would like to share something with all of you. My team, my wonderful, wonderful team. Hold on, hold on, you're so excited, hold on. I know, this is your favorite part, hold on. My wonderful, wonderful team here had no dance experience four months ago. Yeah. Four months ago, they were not performers. They were not professional dancers. They were people in the club that I went, I got a crazy idea, and they went, okay. Because apparently they don't know any better but to listen to me. So, that was when we did the Soro Machine. I knew the Sodom Machine. I was like, hey, we could do this for this festival that we're doing. That might be kind of fun. I don't know. And they did it. In one month. One month, they learned the Sodom Machine, and they'd never danced before. All of them. That's kind of awesome. Yeah. And that went so well that I went, hey, you guys want to apply for a panel at TNT? Wait. Okay. Well, okay, we've got a problem. The shortest time slot we can apply for is an hour. We have one dance. Okay. So we're gonna have to learn some more dances and we've got two months. Okay. So they learned the Soramishi in one month and then the Suza Mihorori, the bone dance, which we're about to do, and Renai Circulation in two months. They're awesome. <laughs> they are really awesome. They've worked so hard. Last time. So, so um, some of you guys may have noticed the things on the back. If we turn around and show them, turn around and show them, let them all see, because we worked so hard on these, I want to show them off. What this says is Kinboshi. 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 translation on that is gold star, which is why there's a pretty little gold star on the top, because it's great. In the sumo world, kimboshi is the term for the underdog. It's the one you expect to not win, and they do, because everybody loves an underdog. These people had never danced four months ago. They are underdogs. They've worked so hard. I can't even put into words how proud I am of them. Because literally when we started this with Sorabushi, none of us expected it to work. Me included. We expected a disaster. It wasn't. So I'm really, really proud of them. The next dance is called the Bono Dori. It all originated from 1500 in China, or Japan. <laughs> and, uh... There's a man who had lost his mother recently, and he was one of Buddha's disciples. And he had the supernatural ability to look into different realms. And as, as he used his powers to look into different realms, he saw that his mother was in a realm of hungry ghosts, and she was suffering very deeply. So, in very, very much scared and awe, he went to the Buddha to ask, see what he could do about this. In return, the Buddha said to him, there will be monks returning from their summer retreat on the 15th day of the seventh month. And they will be at, ask them for offerings and help them with whatever they need. So he did thus, and then turned, went back to the Buddha after he did the uh, offerings, and they told him, or he told them, that his mother had returned to a happier realm as he used his supernatural powers to see. In joy and in happiness, he he danced in happiness and joy to create the Bona Adori dance. And I hope you all can enjoy it with us as we share the experience with you all.